Hey everybody, how you guys doing? My name is Crazy Jester and welcome back to another episode of War on the Sea. And this is the episode where we need to strike back after the devastating strike from the IJN in the last episode where they knocked out quite a few of our ships, which I am still pretty salty about. But you know what? It happens and at least we're getting some uh, pretty good pushback from the IGN. Make this series interesting. So what we have going on right now is we have our Task Force 1 just kind of doing patrols to the north here above uh, Malaita. But what's new is we have Task Force 5 here, the porter, that is going to be he heading over, excuse me, to Russell Islands with 250 troops. And we are going to occupy the Russell Islands and then we'll probably get another 250 just to the San Isabel and along these three that's going to give us all the command points that we need to really make a pretty devastating uh navy once we get that big overload of uh, points coming our way been doing the usual with uh, our air operations over here by port moresby and everything still have yet to come across any ijn ships and you know quite frankly i'm not really uh, complaining about that as that means we don't have to deal with too much trouble over here we can just kind of let them settle we do have the greenling over here that is uh keeping an eye on milan bay hopefully going to make a big difference uh, and task force five has encountered what i would like to believe again is going to be a submarine let's go ahead and start this is a single soul destroyer so i'm not too terribly worried and there it is right there go ahead and start the sonar i have you now much better to just have to deal with uh one destroyer versus a shit ton of other ships. It's gonna make it a lot easier for us. And there are the torpedoes heading out. Good try, sir, but it just isn't enough. Now we're going to go ahead and turn in and start closing the distance. And we'll have ourselves a quick submarine kill right off the bat here to start this episode, which not complaining because to get these out of the way is going to help significantly, let me tell you. Boy, I gotta tell you, this uh, IGN sub has managed to actually evade me completely. I have not been able to locate it at all using sonar. So it must have done a deep dive and gotten the hell out of here knowing that it was only a destroyer that was present. However, it shows that we're 180 seconds out, which means he is still in the air. We're right next to him. He's just doing a very, very good job of evading. It wins this day. Got some torpedoes off without actually being able to be spotted. That is uh, very good on its part. We're going to go ahead and continue our patrol and our push towards the Russell Islands here. Try and get some extras. As soon as we get back with Cargo 1, 2, we might consider getting a few more supplies just to drop off another 2,000. Maybe another set of engineering. And then uh, also get some new forces ready to occupy New Georgia here and or the uh, St. Isabel Islands. And here we go, Task Force 5 has arrived. Let's go ahead and manage cargo please and offload. Russell Islands is now officially under our control, yes! I wonder if I should go and pick up actually, that's actually not a bad idea, old Jester. Go ahead and go pick up 250 really quick from over here at Malaita, and then we'll go drop them off at the Santa Isabel as well. There we go. Santa Isabel Islands are now going to be officially ours. Offload. Beautiful. And now we just have these three to worry about. Have we arrived over here yet? We have. Are we close enough to drop off? Perfect. We absolutely are. More supplies. Extra fuel. Perfect. Get these guys back down towards New Hebrides, and we can also start packing up for Cargo 1 down here. Not too sure why, but something tells me that this episode we're going to see some uh, action over around these areas in Milne Bay and Port Moresby. Something just tells me that that's what we're going to see. Alright, Cargo 1 has arrived. Let's go ahead and manage cargo here and start offloading everything we can so we've got a good amount of supplies there all the rest of our engineering we got old blue here with some extra units let's go ahead actually we'll give old blue back then we'll go to the helm and offload his units what we're gonna do is we're gonna have old blue branch off 
He's gonna go maybe drop off. I hmm, are we spreading it too thin? Maybe we should start thinking about buffing up these islands with now units as well as supplies. And here we go. The Gato has come across a large task force here, moving very slow. Convoy, more than likely. Let's go ahead and start our course actually to intercept if we can. We're also going to start our B-17s. Oh, it's because it's one in the morning. Okay, well, he's encountered a large group, and this is probably going to be an invasion force of some sort. Maybe to resupply Guadalcanal and or the Florida Islands. Let's go ahead and get in there and see what we're dealing with if we can, please. And here we go. It is a relatively large force. Wow. Two heavy cruisers, two light cruisers, and here are the supply ships that are started this way. Probably because of the time of the night. We're sitting right around a 47 to 50% solution rate. You know what? We're going to have to try and take that shot. Go ahead and fire at 50. Now let's go ahead and start targeting number 5, if you will, and start targeting number 7. We actually should have done that. We did that backwards. We should have done number 7 first and then number 5. But you know what? Sometimes that's just uh, how it goes. And with that solution rate, they are going to bypass, it looks like, the first Kamigawa Maru. I don't even think we stand a chance of hitting the second one, no. Maybe? We might get lucky with this? No, I definitely don't think so. How are these ones looking? This looks like it's going to bypass as well. We missed both. Come on. Struck one on the Kamigawa Maru, missed everything else completely. That was not a successful strike on the Gato by any means. That's okay though, that's sometimes what happens. Sometimes that's just what happens. Let's go ahead and change course, try and straighten this out a bit. How are we looking on our reloads? 150 seconds before it's completely reloaded again. We're gonna start getting uh, searched for by these destroyers, no doubt. Go ahead and get a report on that, Gato. Looking at moderate damage so far on the Kamigawa Maru. And of course they are increasing their speed, getting the hell out of Dodge. Trying to change everything they can. As you can see, it wouldn't have mattered anyways even if we waited for the load because they went the complete opposite direction. But we wouldn't even have been able to catch up. So we got one strike. Unfortunately, that 50% solution did not work in our favor this time around. And here we go. I told you something was going to happen this time around. I knew it. I absolutely knew it was going to happen. Greenling did encounter him. Perfect. Let's go ahead and start. What have we got here? Definitely an invasion force. Okay, no doubt in my mind, we absolutely have to take out these cargo ships. 100%. And our Greenling is finally starting to spot these guys, which is very good for us. As you can see, there's Milne Bay just off the horizon here, so we need to try and halt this at all costs. It is, uh, it's is—it's getting pretty close here. Let's go ahead and do actually minus one, start reversing on out of here, and start getting the targets we want. So we're going to want targets two and five. Let's go ahead and target five first, get that identified. So both are identified, and we are targeting number five first, which is exactly what we need. Plus side is it's daytime, so our solution is going to be much better. Let's go ahead and get three at a one degree spread. That's exactly what we're going to fire at both here. Expend all six torpedoes. Surprisingly enough, the solution rate isn't that great. I was expecting way better, but it looks like we're looking at a 56 to 55%, and that's what we're going to have to deal with. 57, go ahead and fire on that. Stop targeting. Go ahead and now target number two, please. Get that solution rate up so we can get these second set of torpedoes off. I am totally lost as to why these first set of torpedoes did not go to the target that we had intended for it. It was clear as day that it was uh, locked on to number five, yet as you can see it is going nowhere near that and will not even touch it. That is frustrating. Go ahead and go silent please. We are going to get some strikes, it looks like, on this second one, though. Let's hope for three minimum. Dud. Explosion. And it looks like we're going to miss that third one. 
Wow, we have not been having any luck today with these submarines. Why didn't the first ones, they were targeted on number five. I don't know if they glitched out or what, but damn it. Just take it to old, you know, old fashioned US torps. Sucking. All right, well, we've gone silent. Let's go ahead and dive down to 70 feet. Get ready for that. We're gonna have to rely on our uh, planes to come and help hopefully do some work. These guys are going to land, though, unfortunately. Damn, moderate and moderate. That is a crying shame that we weren't able to get there soon enough. Let's go ahead and have the Greenling continue its little patrols around here to try and at least catch them. Continue the Avenger push as well as the B-17 push. We'll try and catch them as we can. And what is Millen Bay looking like for troops and supplies? 500 and 1,000. And there we go. Exactly what we didn't want to see, but unfortunately it's going to happen. Did they only... No, they completely landed troops on it. Okay. Not only did they land troops on it, but then they also knocked out the airfield just to confirm. So they bombarded it and landed troops. Damn. Avengers are ready to rock and in battle. Let's go ahead and see where they are. Here is our Greenling that might actually be able to do... We might be able to do a two-pronged assault here. The Greenling in position. Avengers, go ahead and drop down altitude, please, to very low, at least 500 feet. Come out wide a little bit, and then we'll come in try and figure out the best target for you. You know what? They've already dropped all the troops. The best targets that we're going to be able to have is uh, these large battle cruisers. So we're going to go for that. But what I want to do is I want to split up from group, and I want you guys to form up in a separate group so that they're tighter and we have a better chance of striking this guy with all four torpedoes versus uh, if they all went at once side by side, we probably wouldn't land all four shots. All right, they are in the thick of it, getting ready. We are going to start the attack orders here pretty soon. I actually would like for these guys just to be a little closer so the uh, turning doesn't happen. And that's pretty close for me. Go ahead and give the attack order on both. This will make us have a lot better chance trying to get these strikes going. All right, torpedoes away, torpedoes away. Here we go. Both of you get the hell out of Dodge, please. Start flying. Let's hope for some good hits here. One, two, and it looks like this worked out beautifully. Splitting them up, we're gonna get four strikes. Yes, hell yes, great freaking job. You guys get out of here, please. That's exactly what we needed. Go ahead and get a report here. Looks like heavy damage for this Mogami. Be good pickings for our B-17s, as well as this next one when they're up here. Go ahead and sound the retreat, get them out of here. See how this goes. 